Yo, what up, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy here with my good friend, Michael Jair. We're going to talk about some movies. Mike and I were just chatting. I thought this would be an interesting topic for all of us to get into. And it's regarding the movie Babylon. So there's this new movie coming out by Damien Chazelle, the director of La La Land. And what was the other one he did? The one with the drummer? What was the one with the drummer? Uh, Whiplash. 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 And he's a really cool director. And this movie stars Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, and some other dude who I have no idea who it is, but I'm sure he's a wonderful actor. Um, and others. I think Tobey Maguire's in the movie. Tobey Maguire has an EP credit on the movie. What do you think that's about? Why does Tobey Maguire have an EP credit? I don't think Margot Robbie has an EP credit. I don't think Brad Pitt has an EP, cre EP credit. Tobey Maguire has an EP credit. Why? I think he probably beat someone in poker. And one of the producers owe him big, and they say they'll just pay him with an EP credit. Also, a job because that guy hasn't worked in a while. But how how would that get him an EP credit? Oh yeah, oh the poker game. I agree about the poker game. I think that Tobey Maguire has to have that credit from some kind of sneaky, <laughs> some deal with somebody somehow. Because what unless unless he optioned the script? That's the only other option. Maybe he optioned the screenplay early on, paid through some production company. Other than that, why the f does Tobey Maguire have an EP credit on this movie? Makes no sense. Anyways, um, Tobey Maguire. We can talk about Tobey Maguire for days. He's such an interesting Hollywood character. That's me. Can I get one of those? You ever see part of the interruption on SportsCenter? This is what they do. Okay, so um, I have a friend who was on the set of Babylon, and he told me a story that I thought was really interesting. I wanted to share with you guys. He talked about the day that he visited. What did he were, tell you? I'm telling you right now. He told you a what? A story. Clever. So he went to set. Let's and think about this for a second. This was the day that Damien Chazelle was directing one of the bigger scenes in the movie. It's like this big party scene. I actually read the script early on. You read the script as well, right? I auditioned for it. You auditioned for the movie. So what was talk... fucked up? Yeah. Yeah. This is why the movie is going to suck. I was able to tell it from the casting process. From not picking me. What role did you read for? I don't even remember. You don't remember? I don't necessarily remember. This was like four years ago. Hmm. It was a good part, though. Okay. So so my audition for the movie was a good part. I read the screenplay just because I was interested to read whatever Damien Chazelle was writing and doing next. And a friend of mine was on set. And it was the day that there's like this big party scene in the movie. And Damien Chazelle, it was Brad Pitt. It's his scene. He's walking through. He's coming into this huge party. And Damien Chazelle is directing the scene. And... You know, he has all this business, right? He wants Brad Pitt to go here. He wants him to go there, talk to this person, grab this, have a drink. You know, like just tons of business really moving all throughout this party. Very intricate, like insanely intricate blocking. And if you know anything about blocking to do something like that, if you have a lot of extras, you have a character and you want them to move through the extras and location and stop and drink on this line, get here on that line. I mean, that type of stuff takes forever to shoot becomes very complicated it also makes you very reliant on your editor later uh, and we can even get into how that can affect an actor's performance and i'd love to hear mike's thoughts on this so anyways he pitches this whole thing he has all this blocking worked out he wants to do this that and this and according to my friend and this could be absolute <clears throat> you know baloney but brad pitt was just like no i'm not going to do that i'm just going to walk straight deliver the lines and then sit and that's it. We're not going to do all this business. And Damien was kind of like, okay, you know, like what can he do? Even a director like that cannot argue with Brad Pitt, right? Like what Brad says goes. Um, and I thought that was very interesting. And I want to, I'm, I'm curious if it's true, which I don't know why my buddy would be lying to me. Uh, if it's true, why? 
you know, Brad Pitt has been in so many great movies and he's done so much good work and he's worked with so many great directors who've done really inventive, crazy, cool things that requires a lot of time to get right. Like, is Brad suddenly not interested in putting in the hard work anymore? Is he just, don't bother me with this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to stand and do my lines and that's it. But I'm not trying to push myself. Or does Brad know something Damien doesn't? You know, Brad Pitt, let's face it, he's been in a lot of movies, great movies. And you learn something when you're in that much film and you work with that many directors, you watch performances and you go, oh, I like that. I don't like that. And maybe Brad knows something even a guy like Damien doesn't, which is let's not get too crazy here. It doesn't work out. All of that stuff, it becomes a mess later. It's not going to be what you think it's going to be. And the better approach is to do this. And I, as the movie star, am calling seniority. And I don't want to argue about it. I'm going to do this. What do you think, Mike? Man, there's no way to know these things. It, it could be a thousand different reasons. I mean, first off, they, 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 they could have been a long day. Could have been the end of the day. And they just want to get the day over with. And they're, they're running out of light. They're running out of time. And he's like, let's not complicate it. Let's just fucking get the shot. It could have been that. Um, he could have been tired. He'd be like, I'm not doing those. This movie has like a $200 million budget. They're not worried about making the day. Great. It could have been hour 13 of a long, complicated day, and he wants to go home. It could Yeah, but bad. if he if that's the case, then he'll just say, Let's let's finish this tomorrow. Right. And and if that's the case, then it's the first point that I said, which is he's not interested to put in the hard work anymore. Look, here's my question to you. If you're really interested, if you're an actor and you're working with a cool director. And you got money to get crazy. You're not going to let 13 hours of being tired stop you from making a great scene. Let me, right, Mike? Let me ask you a question. When did you ever think Brad Pitt put in the hard work? Do you really think Brad Pitt got to where he got in his career because of hard work? Yeah, of course. Show me a movie that you go, that motherfucker put in a lot of hard work. Everything he does works because of his face. And his attitude, the guy probably learns his lines the day of walking onto set. I don't know what you think of Brad Pitt that you actually ever imagined him to put in hard work. Also, when have you ever saw Brad Pitt do a lot of business on screen? He's mostly a talking head. He likes to stand still, deliver his lines, normally eat food as a crutch. Because deep down, he's not very good. He's just a movie star. Brad Pitt with a different face wouldn't be where he would be in life. That's just it. The man is not multifaceted and talented over here. He can't do an array of things. Every movie, he's chewing food because he doesn't feel comfortable sitting still. He's always doing this with his mouth because he doesn't really know his objective and he's not grounded in the moment to what he wants. He still probably feels very uncomfortable in camera. He probably couldn't handle all of that business and it was like, I'm not going to be doing that because, and here's the thing. I can't imagine all of that business making him look bad, though I have been in positions where I'm like, I'm not doing that because every time I do something like that, I look stupid, but it ain't like walking over and taking a glass and saying hi and walking over. I read the script. It's very, it was very energetic. It was, hey, ha, who, he, going through the crowd, going through this. Yeah, I read it too. He's the he did that. That was one of the great things about it. Just walking straight is bland and boring and basic but my bad show me a show me a, a, a brad pitt thing that isn't really like that that being said brad love you would love to work with I, you what i wouldn't give what to i would give to let brad just if i had him on the other line next to you right now and he just and he goes he up hell if i could just, just go start him. if i could just go hey mike guess who's here and hit a button, and then a little window popped up, and it's Brad. I would even be better, like, bro, Brad would I, walk I, I, I'm he, so sorry. You could walk out of that door right now and just come into this room. Dude, I love Brad Pitt. He's a movie star. He's cool as shit. I fucking love him, but I could be objective and be like, look, I'll, this guy is, I fucking love this guy, but I could also break down skill set and just be like... I think Brad's a wonderful actor. I mean, you sure, know, I know I, you always have. I but. think he's a freaking great actor i think he's, i think he's a lot more than just a movie star i think he's really good actor i mean is he a movie star yes brad pitt is a movie star no question 
Um, but he's got range. He's got depth. But range and depth. Have you ever seen Meet Joe Black? Yeah, he was or... a he was a wooden stool repeating. What was bodies. the one that he did with Anthony Hopkins? The That's Fall. Meet Joe Black. No, no, no. The no. Fall. Which was the one? Oh, oh, Legends of the Fall. Legends of the Fall. Yeah, he was the Dude, he's... No, he wasn't. He fucking. He's so emotionally available. He has such great moments. I think his moments are intro, true. You want to see what you want to see in his face when he's doing it. No, no, no. No, you can watch his work many times. He's got emotional availability. He's hitting all the right chords. He's good. Brad Pitt's really, really good. And then as far as intricate blocking goes, Fight Club has some really intricate sequences. Fight Club. Really intricate sequences that requires him and the camera to dance. Say, Even the camera have to dance. Say Brad Pitt hasn't had good performance. And by the way, that's a younger Brad Pitt working with a cool new director at the time, David Fincher, doing something fresh. And so when David Fincher at the time is like, yo, we're going to do something cool with the camera here. We're going to do this, that, and this, and move, and the camera's going to move. You're going to come to this angle, come through that angle. Brad Pitt's like, no. He could, I mean, the, the, the equivalent, probably, the okay, equivalent would be Brad Pitt at that time going, no, you're not going to spin the camera around. Just, he's older, he's tired. He's bored. He's like, I'm getting paid. This is a clock in, clock out. I want to go home to my family. Let's just go home. I guess to me, then, it's crazy that he looks at a Damien Chazelle movie as a clock in, clock out. That's crazy. Well, that just shows what a fucking... This guy is Hollywood royalty. There's not many Brad Pitts or will ever be many Brad Pitts ever again. He's up there with the Paul Newmans. That's what. So Damien Chazelle is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, when Paul Newman so worked he ever with Mark... be up there with the with the with he the Cox. Yeah, he could if the actors that he works with give him what Maybe. he needs to achieve his vision to be up there and to do what he Cox, wants to do. You got to create psychos, things that live on for hundreds of years. Well, La La Land is one of those. La La Land's a classic. You think La La Land will go as a classic? You think it'll test time? I don't know if it'll test time. I think it'll be a nice, it's a nice movie, but testing time. Testing time is Wizard of Oz. Testing time is... All right, sure, a, sure, sure. You know, it's, it's a really good movie. Very rare movies that test time. Goonies. Yeah. No, for sure, for sure. I'm not going to say that La La Land is like a time-tested, absolute masterpiece. It's, it's going to live on. It's It'd be one of the greats. It's, it's, a, it's a good movie. Um, Whiplash might have a closer shot, at least being talked about longer than La La Land, I would say. Um, I've never seen a movie about a drummer like that, about music and about just that subject matter it was really interesting anyways what do you guys think let us know thanks for chatting take care